Okay, so how many of you guys have done a detox before? Wow, okay, well good, so we'll learn a lot today then. Um, so, <laughs> so, okay, how many of you guys are going to join the detox program this coming up in October? All right, two, good job. <laughs> All right, hi, welcome. So, okay, so what we're going to be doing today is, uh, unfortunately, we have limited people for the detox, so not everybody can join. So what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to conduct a detox on your own at your house. Okay, it's actually, it, there's a lot to doing a detox. It's, you don't just go and drink juice for five days, and there's a lot more to it than that. So um, if you want to do a detox, you really want to do it properly. Because if you don't do it properly, you can actually make yourself pretty sick. So uh, we're just going to talk about all the ins and outs today. Also, we, have, we made a detox handout. Um, but we were unable to print them up for everybody. So if you want to pass them around, you can kind of take a look at it right now. But please don't take, this, don't take these ones. But we do have it uploaded to the e-center. And we'll email out that link tomorrow, and so you can get it tomorrow. But it's got all the notes and stuff in it, so everything I'm saying today is in this, is in this handout. Okay, and this is the one, there's a schedule on there, it's from our last one. But you guys are welcome to like, just kind of pass them around and take a look at them. And uh, just know that they, you can get them tomorrow on the e-center. Okay? So, what is, what is detoxification? What's the point? What are we trying to do? Clean the body. Very good. Yes, we're trying to clean the body. Um, that's a good way of putting it. So um, how many of you actually try to clean your body out besides doing this kind of detox? No? What about during Ramadan? How many of you do fasting during Ramadan? OK, that's a form of detox. OK, so what detox is is basically what you're trying to do, the body can get overloaded with what we call toxins. Do you guys know what a toxin is? No? What is it? What's a toxin? Go to the next one. OK, a toxin is basically a chemical or a substance that gets in the body and it causes severe damage. So what the body does is once it gets in, it tries to get it out as fast as possible. Okay, so like, uh, like one example would be cigarette smoke. Okay, if you go to like almost any restaurant in Abu Dhabi and there's people smoking in there and you're walking through and you're smelling that smoke, that stuff is going into the body and the body has to get it out because if it doesn't, it's going to sit inside and it's going to cause damage. Okay, so unfortunately, we are being bombarded by toxins nowadays every, everywhere you go. You wake up in the morning and, uh, okay, what do you do? You probably gra grab some like processed orange juice or some juice from the store and you drink that. Half of those have chemicals in them. So right there you're getting some toxins. Then you go take a shower and you shampoo your hair and condition your hair and you use soap full of chemicals, you're getting more toxins in the body right there. Then you walk outside and there's so much air pollution here. I mean, it's really, really bad. You can't go outside without breathing in the air pollution. That's another toxin, okay? Then if you decide, say you go to the office and you walk through all the people smoking, then you get some smoke toxin in. Then if you go in the office and if they happen to have just painted the office and you're stuck in there all day, you're smelling the paint fumes all day, that's full of toxins right there. You know, I could go on and on and on. Then you go eat at McDonald's for lunch, okay? That's nothing but toxins. So we're, unfortunately, what they say is that we are being um, exposed to as many toxins in one day that people who lived 100 years ago were exposed to their entire lifetime. That's huge. That's huge, okay? Why do we think people are so sick nowadays? If you look at the incidence of cancer and diabetes and heart disease, I mean, it has skyrocketed. This is partly the reason we're all, our bodies are bombarded with these toxins. And what happens is the body can't get them out anymore. It's overloaded. 
it's got too much work, it can't do the work. So what happens is these toxins stay in the body and they start to hurt us, okay? So um, how many people think you're in good health? Raise your hand if you think you're in good health. Okay, so of the people that raised their hand, how many of you, uh, how many of you feel tired during the day? Raise your hand. Okay, how many of you get headaches? Okay, how many of you have uh, digestive issues where you have bloating or gas or you can't go to the toilet? Okay, so you guys think you're healthy? You call that healthy? <laughs> okay, so this is, why we, this is why we want to detox, all right? We want to, the whole point of detoxification is to stop as many toxins as possible entering the body. And while we, do, while we stop those toxins, we're going to help the liver and help the body push the toxins that are already in the body that are there and help get them out. So that's the whole point of detoxification. It is a cleansing. We're getting the, the toxins that are stuck in the body and that can't get out, we're going to give them a chance to get out. Okay, so that's kind of the whole point of what you're doing. So just keep that in mind. So uh, as we talk, we'll talk about how we're going to stop certain ones from coming in and we're going to support the body to get the rest out. Okay, this is just kind of showing you some of the places where we get our toxins from, pesticides on the food, cleaners, plastic. I mean, how many of you drink out of plastic water bottles? Yeah, pretty much everybody. Look on your tables right now. I mean, everybody's, you, you know, this stuff... How many of you put plastic in the microwave? Oh, you guys are brave. <laughs> okay, that's one of the worst things you can do for yourself. All right, putting plastic in the microwave. Well, the minute you start heating plastic, it starts leaching carcinogens. Do you know what a carcinogen is? Carcinogen means it's causing cancer. So you're leaching carcinogens into your food and drink whenever it's heated. This is why we don't really like to use these plastic bottles too much because we live in Abu Dhabi. It's hot here. Where do we think they're storing these bottles, right? They're storing them on trucks or in warehouses. It's getting heated. Even though you put it in your fridge, it doesn't matter. Where, where has it been the last six months? It's been sitting in a hot warehouse, getting hot and leaking these uh, carcinogens into your water. So you got to be very careful about using plastic. If you can, get plastic out of your life because uh, these carcinogens, they, what they also do is they mimic estrogen. Estrogen is a female hormone. And so what we're seeing right now is this huge rise with women that have what we call estrogen dominance. They have way too much estrogen in their body, and a lot of it is from these uh, plastics and stuff like that that are... Uh, acting like estrogen in the body. So just keep that in mind. If you can get rid of it, get rid of it. Okay. So uh, how do we know if we have a toxic overload? How do we know if we need to detox? Okay. One big one is being tired all the time. If you have trouble getting out of bed in the morning, if you have a afternoon crash where you need to go run and have some coffee or grab a Coca-Cola or grab a sweet snack because you need to wake up, we're not supposed to feel that way. That's not healthy. It may be normal because everybody else feels it, because we're all unhealthy, but it's not healthy, okay? Uh, slow metabolism, if you're gaining weight, if you have thyroid issues. Thyroid is like the number one organ that is affected by toxic, uh, toxic stuff in the body. Toxins have an affinity to go and attack the thyroid. Um, digestive issues, huge. Uh, skin blemishes, if you have a lot of skin rashes, eczema, a lot of acne, a lot of stuff like that can uh, be a sign of having too much toxins in the body. Difficulty sleeping, if you have uh, insomnia, that can also be a, um, be a sign. And then cellulite, and also being moody, okay? So if we have a lot of, um, you know, anxiety, anger, things like that, that can also uh, be a sign of too much toxins in the body. Okay, so... Why do we want to do a detox? Well, you're going to clean yourself out and you're going to feel way better. 
If you talk to any of the few people that did the last detox program with us, you'll find them, most of them saying, I have a lot more energy. I bounce out when my alarm rings, I jump out of bed in the morning, and I'm, I have no, I'm not tired all day. That's how you feel right after the detox, because your energy comes back. And unfortunately, a lot of people will start eating the same way they were before, and so it only lasts for a short time. <laughs> um, well, yeah, it is. It, it's, it's, you have to really change your thinking. Because if you sit here and say, oh, I can't have that because it's bad for me, you know, you, you won't be able to change. But if you sit there and think, oh, I really want to eat this salad because rather than go eat McDonald's because I know this salad's going to make me feel better, then it's a lot easier to implement those changes in your life. But it really takes a bit of a mind change. You really got to change your thoughts about, about it to be able to do it. It took me several years to change my diet to a healthy diet. Really, it took me a long time. It took me like two years to stop drinking Coca-Cola because I grew up on like, I was drinking like six Cokes a day when I was a child. But yeah, it took me almost two years to finally get it out of my life. So it's a process. I'm not saying, you know, you don't have to go the next day and completely change your life, but you make step-by-step -step changes. So uh, it also, it can help you to lose a little bit of weight and burn some fat. Um, so a lot of people actually do it for that reason. It uh, helps you to reverse disease, improve your mood, balance your hormones, reduce cellulite. You'll, you'll feel really good when you're done. Go ahead. So, um, okay, so we kind of we break it down into three phases. So before you really start your cleanse or your detox, you're going to do the pre-cleanse. Okay, so in this stage, you're going to start taking all the junk that you eat every day out of the diet, and you're going to start eating a clean diet. So you, it, we like to do at least three days, but you can start off with uh, five days beforehand if you want to do. So you have to quit smoking at this point. You quit drinking coffee. You take all the inflammatory foods out of your diet at this point. So that means like dairy products, cheese, um, you know, uh, milk, stuff like that. You also want to take the meat out. So any kind of meat, chicken, beef, shrimp, seafood, stuff like that. You're going to take all that out as well. Basically, all you're going to be eating for this time is going to be vegetables. And you can either eat them raw or you can eat them cooked. It doesn't matter. And then you can also have some good oils, like some coconut oil and some olive oil. And then you can also have some uh, rice. And I usually tell people at this point to do white rice because white rice is a lot easier on your digestion rather than the brown rice at this time. Because we just kind of want to slow, we want to uh, go real easy on your digestion. Um, so, uh, and all of this is in those books that you'll be able to download. Uh, so you don't have to write all this down if you um, want to remember it. Also, you're going to want to only eat organic just organic vegetables. You don't want to be eating any fruits and vegetables that are full of pesticides because that's just going to uh, kind of defeat the purpose. Because remember, we said we want to stop all the toxins from coming in, and that's a huge, uh, huge way of getting toxins in is through your fruits and vegetables. Um, and then at this point, you're going to begin uh, some of the extra stuff that we'll talk about, like the enemas and the oil pulling and the castor oil packs, and we'll go over all that in just a minute, why you want to do these things. Um, so that's the pre-cleanse. So, uh, so then the next part is going to be the actual detoxing part. Okay, so this, this one you can do uh, so many different ways, okay? And you basically, you're going to choose a cleanse based on your health and uh, kind of based on if you've ever done a cleanse before. Um, if you're somebody who's never done a cleanse and you're really sickly, I would probably have you do a very mild one, like one where it just involves just eating raw foods, okay, for your cleanse. If you're somebody who's in pretty good health, you just may have one or two issues that's not really a big bother. Uh, and you're pretty healthy, then you might want to do like either a juice cleanse where you're just doing all juices for so many days, or you could even maybe choose to do a water fast, 
Okay, and a water fast is really, really intense. So you have to be really, you really need to know what you're doing if you're gonna do a water fast. But if you do a three day water fast, that can uh, completely reset your immune system. So if you kind of have a, a, a weak immune system, you're getting sick all the time, a water fast would actually be very good for you. And at the end of those three days, uh, but again, that's just having water for three days. So that one can be really, really, uh, really intense. Anyway, if you want to do a cleanse and you're not sure which one you want to do, please feel free to come and talk to either me or Dr. Ron. And we will be glad to sit there and help guide you and help you figure out what's the best one for you to do. Okay, so uh, we're here anytime you guys want, just call and make an appointment with us. We're here for you guys. So uh, during this phase, you are going to, um, you're not gonna use any chemicals. Again, you're still not gonna, you're gonna continue the no smoking and the no coffee and, and uh, not eating. And then you're gonna continue with the uh, other stuff that we do, the enema baths and the colonics and all that. Go ahead. And then the next phase, this is the post cleanse. And this is where I see the most people mess up, okay? Because when, when you've done the pre cleanse and you've done your detox, when you start coming out of it, you have to come out very slow, okay? You need to take time and slowly reintroduce foods back into the body because the body, is, you don't want to put the body into shock. And trust me, I've already done that. My first time detoxing, I went, I think I did like a five day detox. And then um, we happened, there was a brand new restaurant that was opening up, this really expensive Italian restaurant. And they had this one night and we got free, uh, it was a free, uh, free dinner, free appetizer, free dessert for two people, one night only. And this was the night after I was coming off my detox. And so I was like, oh, whatever, I don't need to do the post cleanse. And so I went and I gorged on Italian food. And I was severely ill after that, severely ill, okay? So you really, really need to follow these guidelines. You don't wanna screw up and do that kind of thing, okay? So you're gonna slowly, slowly put food back in. Like the first day after you're eating solid food, you're gonna just eat like a lot of vegetables and maybe some rice, um, you know? And then the next day you may introduce like maybe some egg, or some milk or some, you know, a dairy. You don't want to bring a lot, of too much dairy in too quickly. And then you're gonna gradually add that protein back in, your meats and stuff. But you really want to take a few days to get those back in. You don't want to just go and start eating everything in sight again, okay? And if you want to do this correctly, then this should kind of show you how to start changing your diet. So we would hope that you wouldn't go back to the diet you were eating before. Okay, if you're somebody who eats fast food all the time and McDonald's and eat, eats a bunch of junk food, a bunch of fried foods, we would really hope that this experience would help you learn, okay, I don't want to be eating, putting those bad things back in my body all the time. Okay, so these are some of the important things we want to go over. Uh, I call this the detox lingo. So these are all the things we're going to be talking about that are the extra stuff that you, that go along with the detox. Okay, so. One of the important things, really important things to understand is what we call an emunctory. And you don't have to remember that term, but that means our exits. <laughs> so if you want to clean out, the exits have to be open. If you don't open your exits, guess what? You're going to feel really bad, OK? If we're starting, when you're, in a, when you're doing a detox, you're mobilizing your toxins. If you mobilize your toxins and don't open the exits and they have nowhere to go, they're going to make you feel very sick. Okay? So some of the exits that we have, we got the, uh, the skin. Okay? The skin is an exit. You know how we're sweating out stuff? Stuff comes out of the skin. Your breath. Everybody take their hand and breathe on your hand. What do you feel? Sorry? Wet. It feels wet, okay, because things are coming out. Just like if, you have so, if you've ever known somebody who goes on a weight loss program, they start having stinky breath, right? Why? Their stuff's coming out on their, in their breath. Or people who go drink a bunch of alcohol, the next day, have you ever talked to somebody who drank a bunch of alcohol the night before? 
Yes? They're really stinky, right? You can smell the alcohol coming off their breath. Yes, this is true. <laughs> because the toxins are coming out from the breath, OK? Um, also, so our GI, of course, our urine, and our stool are going to be uh, two of the, two of the uh, big ways we're getting stuff out, through the liver and the kidney. OK, so we really want to support all of these exits and make sure they're open while you're doing your detox. And that's what uh, a lot of these things that I mentioned, the, um, the, enema, uh, the enema, the Epsom salt bath, the, uh, the uh, yoga and breath work, all these things are going to be to open these exits up. So the more of these things that you do, the better you're going to feel on your detox. Okay, so if you just come and all you do is you do your detox, say you pick a juice cleanse and you just, just do your juicing and not these other things, you're going to feel really sick. But the more of these things that you do, the more you're going to be opening your exits, the more toxins you're going to be getting out. That's, that's the key here. Okay, so, uh, so the enema, okay, so a lot of people don't like to do this. But I tell you what, this is great because the minute you start changing how you're eating and changing your diet, you're going to get constipated. That means you're not going to be able to pass stool. Okay? So what we do is we do the enema. And these you can, I haven't been able to find these in Abu Dhabi, but there is a place in Dubai, there's a, a pharmacy in Dubai that sells them. Okay, but it's basically, it's like a little bag with some tubing, and then on the end there's a, uh, a little thing to insert. And it basically flushes the colon with water. And then uh, we also do coffee enemas, because the coffee will help stimulate uh, the, talk, the bile and stuff to come out. So uh, this is definitely something you really want to do. I know it seems kind of weird and a little freaky, but I'm telling you, this is going to really help you get, get your, past your stool, OK? OK, so another thing you want to make sure you're doing is deep breathing exercises or yoga, OK? So during our detox program, we have a, a yoga teacher come, and then we'll do yoga for about an hour. It helps get your lymph system moving and helps get everything moving. But it's also, it also gives you a chance to concentrate on your breathing and breathe very deeply and get some of those toxins out with your breath. OK? So that's definitely something you want to do. Um, and then another thing is skin brushing. How many of you have ever done skin brushing? OK. So we do this. It's dry. It's not wet. It's dry. OK? So what you do, this is, this is the brush. Uh, it's got very soft bristles, and what you do is before you take a shower or before you go in a sauna, you sit here and you take the brush and you just scrub your, you scrub your skin. And you start from like your feet, you go all the way up, and then you go from your hands and you basically move everything towards the heart. And so you want to do this, you want to do it hard enough that it's making your skin kind of reddish. OK? You, want, you don't want to be very soft. If you're too soft, it's not going to work. But you kind of want to irritate the skin a little bit so it makes it the, the pores open up and starts getting the toxins out. OK, if you cannot find a brush like this, you can use a loofah, like these ones. You can find these pretty much anywhere. So you can use one of these if you can't find a good skin brush. But do remember, this is dry. We don't do this wet. If you do it wet, it won't work. OK. And you do that before the shower, before your bath. We also do what's called an Epsom salt bath. If anybody wants to see what the enema looks like, we have, a, we have one here. You can come up after and look at, the, look at what the enema is like. And then if you're going to be looking for the Epsom salts here, usually you'll find them at the pharmacy in these little tiny containers, OK? And um, what you want to do is you need at least four containers in one bath. If you're taking a bath with one of these, it's not working that well. What you want to do is you want to get, you want to be sitting in a bath of salt water because that salt water is going to help pull the toxins out of the body. And one of these is not really enough. It's not really going to be helpful. So I tell people at least four. 
if not uh, six. I, I would use at least six of them in one bath, but you can get away with four. But uh, this is also great if you ever go exercise and you have very sore muscles. You know what I'm talking about? If you go, you say you go work out and do some weightlifting, and then the next day you're like, oh, that mean, it's because you have a lot of lactic acid that's built up. And so if you're doing that, it's also really good to do an Epsom salt bath because it'll pull those, it'll uh, uh, soothe your sore muscles. You got a question? Yeah, doctor, how, how long do you need to uh, be soaked under the... With the Epsom salt bath, uh, you know, I usually do like hot water and then I put the salt in and then try to go for at least 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. It, you, uh, yeah, you don't really need to go that much longer than that, but uh, sometimes, at least go, go at least 10 minutes in there, but try to stay for a good 20 minutes. And all of, this, all of the directions for these are in that handout. So you can get all the directions are in there. Um, so if you cannot, uh, if you don't do this, you can also go and take a dip in the ocean. The ocean is full of salt. It's salt water, right? So you can go. That's what we did during our detox program. We had a lot of, we would take a bus and bring all the people to the ocean and go dip in the ocean and soak in the ocean. Okay? That's fine, too. It's still salt water. All right? It's still going uh, to help your skin pores to open up and pull toxins out that way. Okay. Okay. So the castor oil pack. Who's, who's ever done a castor oil pack or ever heard of one? Nobody? Ah, all right, one person. Okay, so I don't know if you can see on these pictures, but uh, this, is, this is a body that's laying down, and this is the castor oil pack on top of it. And uh, this is kind of all the stuff that you want to get. So if you go to, like, the pharmacy, you can get the castor oil in the little bottles. So you want to bring some castor oil. You want to get a little cotton cloth. And what you're going to do is, uh, what I usually do is, I first, I take a garbage bag, like a trash bag, and then I put it down on my sofa. And then on top of that, I put a towel because this oil can get everywhere, okay? So you put the garbage bag, put a towel, all right, then you get your casserole pack ready. You take the, the cloth and you pour some oil on it. You don't want it so that it's dripping oil, but you want it so it's at least enough saturated, okay? Then you're going to lay down where you put the towel down, and you're going to take that cotton cloth, and you're going to put it on top of your liver directly. Okay, so you're going to take your clothes off and then put it right there. Then I take another garbage bag, another trash bag. I put the trash bag on top of that, and then you get a hot water bottle, one of these. Okay, and you put the hot water bottle on top of that cotton cloth. Uh, on top of the bag. And then you just sit there for 45 minutes to an hour, and what's going to happen is that heat is going to cause the liver to absorb that castor oil through the skin. And this is like, especially if you have any kind of liver issues, uh, uh, fatty liver, or if you have any kind of like female issues, any, like if you uh, tend to have a lot of pain during your uh, menses, this is so good to do, really. This is like one of the best, and it's so easy. It's dirty, okay? You do get oil in, everywhere, but it's so easy to do. You just sit there, you can watch TV, you can meditate, you can sleep, whatever you want to do. But this is excellent to do during the cleanse as well. Okay, so that's the castor oil pack. Um, okay, so, and then you also, in the morning, you're going to want to drink some psyllium. Psyllium is going to be like a fiber, okay? If you can't get psyllium, you can get some flaxseed and grind up your flaxseed and do the same thing. But uh, if we usually do in the morning, we'll do a drink of psyllium with apple cider vinegar. It tastes terrible. <laughs> Ask Rita. <laughs> but it's also going to help you go to the bathroom, right? We really, really want to go to the bathroom. We want to pass our stool. So... This is going to help you, so you need to make sure you're drinking this. And I just usually pinch my nose and down it. Okay, that's your psyllium drink. Okay. And then, okay, so another thing you want to do, uh, depending on what cleanse you're doing, even if you're, do, even if you're not doing like a juice cleanse, 
it's really good to add in some green drinks. So if you're doing like a raw food, ved, uh, raw food diet, uh, or if you're doing, uh, there's, there's a bunch of cleanses out there. There's like liver cleanses you can do. If you're doing those, you can still add in some green drinks and basically just juicing like cucumbers and uh, spinach and uh, lettuce and kale and stuff like that and apples and making yourself a green drink. There's actually some recipes in the back of that little booklet that uh, Ms. Violet, uh, Violet gave us of some green drinks you can add. Um, so that you definitely want to add in as well. Uh, next one. Sauna. Okay. Again, what is the sauna going to do? It's going to make you sweat. So those toxins are going to come out the skin. This is a great time to do the skin brushing before you go into the sauna. So if you have access to a sauna, and get in there. If you don't, just go outside. If you're in, it's in the summer, just go outside. <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay. All right. And then contrast shower. Okay, so what this is, this is uh, hydrotherapy. What you do, if you, if you can do this, I know it's difficult here because it's very hard to get cold water, okay? But do the best you can. But, so what you do is you get in a shower of hot for like three minutes and then turn on the cold for like a minute, okay? Or if you can, if you have like two bathrooms, Fill one bathtub up with cold water. Maybe put a little bit of ice cubes in there if the water's too hot. Not too much ice cubes. We don't want it frozen. So go do the hot shower and then go run and then sit in the cold water. But cold for only one minute. No longer than one minute. This is the best. You will, if you've ever done this, you will feel amazing. Amazing. If you go to Japan, they have these bathhouses. And that's what they have. They have hot tubs and cold plunges. And you go, you sit in the hot tub three minutes, then you go in the cold plunge for a minute. Then you go in the hot tub three minutes, then you go in the cold plunge for a minute. And I'm telling you, you do this, you do this like, you know, four or five times back and forth. It stimulates your immune system. You will feel amazing afterwards. I'm not even kidding, just amazing. But if you can manage to do this at your house, really, 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 really great for you. Okay. Uh, Next one. Okay, and then oil pulling. Oil pulling is another thing that we do. And this is, you can take either sesame oil or coconut oil, and you take like a tablespoon, put it in your mouth in the morning, and just swish with it for 20 minutes. So you just like, for 20 minutes, and what that's going to do, it's going to pull toxins out through your mouth. Okay, and then we, at the end of 20 minutes, it should be all nice and foamy, and then you spit it out, and then you brush your teeth, okay? But we do this before you put any liquids in your mouth. You got to do this right after you get up, before you do any drinking, or before you, or any eating or anything, okay? And you can even do this now. This is an excellent way to pull toxins out of the body. And there's a lot of people that swear by this. This is the Ayurvedic... Uh, Ayurvedic thing, but a lot of people swear by this. So yeah, you can even do this now if you want. Um, okay, and so, okay, so that's all the extra things. You want to do as many of those extra things that you can, because if detoxing, you can feel really ill. And the more of those things that you do, the more of those exits that you open up, and the more toxins you're pulling out, the better you're going to feel while you go through this process. I promise you. Okay, so some do's and don'ts of detoxing. Okay, so some of the don'ts is you don't want to use anything with chemicals while you're going through phase two, especially while you're going through this uh, by the cleansing part, okay? So you don't want to wear any makeup, you don't want to wear deodorant, sunscreen, shampoo, conditioner, you don't want to drink from any plastic water bottles, you don't want to have any products with chemicals no soaps, no pesticides on your fruits and vegetables. You don't want to go into a chlorinated pool, okay? You go into a chlorinated pool, your body's going to immediately start sucking up chlorine, all right? So the first thing I told you, we're trying to get, stop the toxins from coming in. So a lot of people tell me, what do I do? I'll be stinky. Yes, you're going to be stinky, okay? You can get, uh, there are certain natural soaps and stuff that you can get, like Castile soap is okay to use, 
or you can, there's some like that's some olive oil and like there's some natural soaps. You, if you can find those, use those. Those are fine. Okay, and just use that for shampoo for the few days while you're doing it. Yeah. Baby shampoo is actually, have you ever read the label on a baby shampoo? No. <laughs> Some of them are very toxic, actually, which is very sad because it's for babies. I wouldn't use baby shampoo. I would use like a Castile soap, or if you go to like the organic food and cafe store, they'll have some, some good ones that don't have all those chemicals in it. But you want something that's very, you want something that's very natural, chemical free. But yeah, the baby shampoo, just read the label and see what's on it. But most of the, I've seen some of those and they're actually quite toxic. They still have some chemicals in them. Um, okay, so, go ahead. And then, okay, some other don'ts. Uh, don't drink a lot of liquids right before bed because you, you really want to rest while you're going through this process, okay? So you don't want to be up every couple of hours going to the toilet. So. Two, three hours before you go to bed, stop drinking anything, okay? Also, I don't know if I put in here, drink lots and lots and lots of water while you're doing your cleanse. Remember, we, we still need to get that kidney open, and we need to get the water going through. Um, no smoking, no shisha, no strenuous activities. When you're detoxing, we don't really want you going to the gym and working out, all right? We want you to do some very light exercise, like walking. You can do a lot of walking. You can do yoga. You can do uh, jumping on the rebounder. That's fine. But we don't really want you doing like any crazy, crazy exercises, OK? So you, you just want to avoid that. Just remember, this is a very restful time. You want to spend most of this time just resting and let your body do what it needs to do, OK? Uh, also, we, it's not really good to work while you're doing a detox. If you can, do it like over a weekend or do it over a time where you have a holiday because you really, a lot of people feel sick during a detox. And you really, you don't want to sit there thinking and doing work. You really want to just go lay down. Okay? So it's, again, it's a restful time. It's a time to let your body heal and let your body cleanse. Okay, so what you do want to do is you definitely want to eat organic fruits and vegetables. Please make sure you eat organic fruits and vegetables, no pesticides. You want to make sure you're drinking out of glass, no plastic bottles. Um, of course, using the Epsom salts or the ocean. It's also a really good time to do some journaling. Um, a lot of times when we're detoxing, a lot of emotions will come up. You'll feel really sad or... Because what we tend to do, um, unfortunately, uh, you know, society and family and everybody's kind of like, oh, you shouldn't cry, you shouldn't express yourself. And so we tend to like really, really suppress our feelings. And so when you're detoxing, things start coming out. So don't be surprised if you start crying about your grandmother who died 20 years ago. You know, because you'll find that these emotions that you have buried all of a sudden start coming out. And journaling is a great way to just get them out. Like if you just sit there 20 minutes before you go to bed and just write whatever's on your mind. It doesn't have to be in any kind of form, but just whatever's, whatever's coming up for you, just write it and get it out, okay? Um, and then also, oh, jumping on a rebounder. This is great. Number one, it helps you go to the, it helps you pass stool, okay? So we all want to go to the toilet, right, during detoxing. So there's several ways to help you, and this is one of them. You jump for like 10 minutes, you should be able to go to the bathroom after that. All right, and then it's also going to move your lymph system. So it's going to get that lymph system flowing and get those toxins start moving out, okay? Um, and then, uh, oh, yeah, always finish your shower off with cold. So, okay, big mistakes that people make. Okay, one of, the, one of the mistakes they make is that they don't do the pre-cleanse. They just jump, they're eating their crappy diet and they just jump into all of a sudden doing juices. You're gonna feel really bad if you do that, okay? You really wanna ease yourself into it. Uh, same thing, coming out of it in, for your post-cleanse. 
If you don't, like I said earlier, if you don't do that post cleanse properly, you could start feeling really, really sick. So you want to make sure you're introducing foods very, very slowly, okay? Um, during this time, too, you want to make sure you're listening to your body. If your body says, hey, I need to go lay down, go lay down, okay? Don't push yourself and, oh, no, I just need to drink more juice and then I'll feel better. No, you need to get the stuff out, okay? So, um... Take the time to rest. Make sure all the exits are open. Like I said, you want to do the skin brushing. You want to do the enemas. A lot of people really don't want to do the enema, but I promise you that's really, really going to help you. Um, make sure you're doing your Epsom salt baths, OK? Make sure you're doing some kind of exercise. Uh, you can also get massages while you're doing a detox. This is a great time to get a massage, because that massage is really going to help move some stuff out. Um, and then uh, choosing the wrong cleanse. Yeah, some people will just go gung-ho and they'll jump into this really intense cleanse and they'll make themselves really sick. Okay, so just be careful about that. And then also don't return to your previous diet very quickly because that will also make you sick. Okay. Uh, so a lot of people will feel sick and this is, uh, this is pretty common, okay? I'm not saying, uh, a lot of people won't feel anything. A lot of people will just start to feel better. So, uh, but there are people who will get signs of like, they'll feel like they're having a flu, they'll get headachey. Headache's probably the most common uh, side effect. Probably usually the first day, especially when people stop drinking caffeine, they get really headachey. Um, constipation is another one that's pretty common. And again, I said there's a few things you can do to help that stool move, help that stool come out. Um, you can also get dizziness, nausea, bad breath, uh, withdrawal symptoms, rashes. If you're not opening, doing the skin brushing and opening those exits, you may get like a lot of acne or some rashes going on. Um, Flu-like symptoms, muscle aches, foggy thinking. You may also get really irritable and moody, okay? That happens. And you also may get a lot of emotions that come up, like I said earlier, some grief, anxiety, anger. Okay, that's very common as well. Okay, so these are some supplements that are really helpful when you're detoxing. Um, if you want to, if you're gonna do a detox and you wanna take some extra supplements, come see, come see me and I'll help you because really uh, most of these, you kinda need to know what you're doing with these. But uh, like magnesium, if you're having trouble sleeping, you can get some magnesium in. Uh, NAC and glutathione are really good because those are some, uh, NAC is really good for the liver and then glutathione is one of the biggest antioxidants in the body that's needed. So those are really good for helping you um, clear these out. Okay, vitamin C, well any, you can take vitamin C, high dose vitamin C anytime is always good for you. Potassium, chlorella, uh, probiotics, but we usually kind of wait till after the detox to take some probiotics. Milk thistle, of course, is gonna help your liver. The turmeric is also gonna help the liver. And there's a bunch of detox herbs that you can take that will help you detox even more. So like uh, the burdock root, uh, thraxicum, which is dandelion. But really, if you wanna use any of these, uh, come talk to me because I can kinda help uh, figure out what you need. Okay, and then, um, next one. Okay, and again, this handout with all this information is uploaded to the eCenter. So tomorrow, we'll either email it out or you can jump on the HSCQ eCenter. It'll be up there for you. And then you can just uh, take it home and print all this out and you can have all this information at your fingertips. Okay, any questions? No? We got it? So who's ready to do a detox? All right. Okay, so there is a company, there's actually several companies in uh, Dubai that actually make the juices for you. So you can either buy a juicer and then go to the Organic Food and Cafe and Lulu and get all the organic vegetables and do it on your own, or you can, uh, you can get these juices from these companies, they'll come and deliver and they'll deliver uh, like six, six or so juices for you, and then all you have to do is just pop them open and drink them the next day. Um, and I know they're having some specials right now, and I think with one of the companies, Rita's gonna try to get an employee discount there, 
but it really makes it super easy. I just did one of these a week ago, and I did a five-day cleanse. I took two days, and I did my own juicing, and it was all day long. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I felt like all I was doing was juicing. Uh, and then I, and then I uh, ordered from the company for three days, which was really nice because it costs a lot of money for all these organic vegetables. So I would say in the two days that I did my juicing, I spent at least 300 dirhams for those two days. And the juices, I think we pay like two, 250 or something like that. So it's not that much more to get somebody to do the juices for you and deliver them to your house. It's really easy. And guess what? You get to rest even more. So um, they are having specials for August. Like if you do get three days, you get an extra day or something like that. Um, so if you want to do a juice cleanse, that's, that company is really good to go with. Uh, that one's called Go Organic. There's another one called Detox Delight. Uh, they're quite more expensive, but they have a few more options for you. Um, and then, of course, you can also do a water fast, which is super cheap. Just do straight up water. So, um, yeah. Sorry, I can hear you. The water fast? No, but you're, it's very intense. So some people can't handle it because it's a lot of toxins are going to be released and you're just drinking water. You're not eating anything. You're, you know, and so especially if you tend to go hypoglycemic or if you're diabetic, I would not recommend water fasting at all. Like water fasting is really, really intense. But uh, yeah, and you have to very slowly come off of that one. You can't just start eating foods the next day. You've got to start one day of juicing, the next day like soft cooked vegetables, but that one's a lot more intense. Yeah, you're going to have a lot more side effects with that one. Yeah. But you are going to feel way more amazing than you ever felt before in your life after you're done. All right, any more questions? All right, guys. Well, go grab some food, and if you have any questions, send us an email or make an appointment with either uh, Dr. Ron or myself, okay? Oh, yeah. Regarding these fruits and vegetables, what is the difference between you juice it and you eat it? The difference when you juice it is that you're freeing all the vitamins and minerals, and it's just liquid. So you're taking all that fiber out, okay? So your body's going to absorb it real quickly. It's, it's going to be, because a lot of people have really bad digestion. That's one of the, probably one of the most common problems uh, with people is our digestion's not good. So we're not absorbing our nutrients and our vitamins. So when you juice the vegetables, you're making it in a form that's very easy for your body to absorb. Okay? Uh, if you make, if you blend it, you're still keeping the fiber in there. But the good thing about the fiber is it's not like juice can be pure sugar. But when you have the fiber in there, the fiber is, is going to keep your blood sugar from spiking. So, uh, so like, like if we have people who are diabetic or stuff, like if they're very bad off, I usually, I won't even let them do a juice cleanse sometimes because it can be too much sugar on them and their body can't handle it because the, with the juicing. So if you do smoothies, the smoothies you're keeping the fiber, it's a lot less, uh, it won't rise your blood sugar as bad. So that's pretty much the difference. You're taking out all that pulp, all that fiber. So. Anything else? What's the frequency is recommended? Once in a year, every six months? Ideally, uh, you would want to do like uh, twice a year, once in the springtime and once in the fall. You want to you do detoxing when it's still kind of warm because when you stop eating, you will get very cold. So uh, you'll notice that uh, when we eat, we produce more heat. So you definitely want, you don't want to do it in the middle of winter when it's freezing cold outside. <laughs> That's not the time to do this. But springtime and fall are actually really good times to do a detox. If you can do two times a year, that's great. 
If not, at least once a year. Once a year is good. Some people will even do like what we call intermittent fasting, which is almost like what they do during Ramadan, where they don't eat for, they don't eat for a certain amount of time. They may just eat breakfast and then late dinner. And then that also, some people will do that, or some people will just fast once a week. You can kind of do things like that too if you want, because that kind of keeps you up. Uh, but the big recommendation is about twice a year. Yep. Sorry? Oh, we don't want to detox kids. <laughs> uh, it depends on what it is. It could, if it's eczema, uh, there's certain things that you, uh, you're always welcome to come in and chat with me and Dr. Ron and we can help you. Yeah, yeah, anytime. You just call and make an appointment and we can come, we can talk about what's going on. Okay, okay, you're welcome. Okay, time to eat. All right, okay.